Uh, here we are um, with your dough um, that you had sent for your animal crackers. Um, I believe it's going to work very well. We've been testing around. It's nice and pasty. Um, it's been sitting in the refrigerator since Thursday when we got it. I'm going to run it now. All I did was take it and put it in our mixing bowl to redo it a little bit. I want to say that um, it's a possibility that it may work directly out of the machine or just chilled down slightly. Um, but it's a very nice. Um, this device here makes it thicker and thinner, not by much. The most you can change it is maybe three or four millimeters with the knife cutting. The thickest you can go on any piece is the maximum of seven millimeters. The, I have a test drum in here that I'm going to run and you're going to see all kinds of different um, pieces and shapes come out and thins, thicknesses and stuff that we have in here. So let me run this. continuously goes with another machine or another pan coming out from under it. They're sticking a little bit but that's not really any major problems. But I'm going to show you what we have here. Um, and it's because I believe it's very cold. But if you see the dough how it comes out, the thicknesses that we have on this test drum, you can see that obviously Volvo comes out. Um, this is a little disc with an imprint on it. This is just a round diameter. That's the bottom looking where the knife cuts it. Um, like I said, a little cold. This is a heart shape. Um, it works. It's working pretty good. This is a very thin star shape. That's not irregular from the knife cutting. That's the actual shape of it. Um, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to stop the video here a little bit. I'm going to change the drum out. So what I'm going to put in there is a drum. These two drums. One's a dog biscuit. I don't know if you actually see that. Okay. And then I'm also going to do one that has a lot of embolsing but smaller just to show you how it comes out. So um, we're going to stop in a minute. I'm going to change the drum and um, we'll show you how these come out too. Uh, here we go again. I switched the other drum off that I showed you. I'm going to start it. You're going to be able to see it come down. Where did I put that other pan? To show you that it'll go continuous. And as you see here, um, it works uh, very well with your embolsing of this kind of dough. If this is what you want to do, uh, it could go a little thinner probably, but this works pretty nice with the thickness they have here. And you can see the detail that is coming out with your dough. So it's quite, quite good. I don't know if you'll be happy with it, but... Um, I will definitely send you some shots before you get the video to see what we can do here. I'm going to try one more drum of the, the bones and um, we'll go from there. I'll change the drum again. Let's we'll see. Okay. Here's the last drum that we have just to give you a variance. Like I was saying, we have this dog bone biscuit ones that it's almost like a kibble. too and I can you can see here the thickness of it and the detail that's on that bones but it does work and I want to say that it'll probably work pretty well fresher since this has been I'm very happy that this was sitting around for how many days a full weekend cold in a refrigerator and uh, we're getting this product out. This is, uh, this is very good results. So I'll send this off to you. We're taking some pictures and you should get those before. That's it. Thank you.